State Locks. Dr. Feldman, I support universal health care. Everyone universally should care about their own health. With a balance and credit program that provides billions of dollars for individuals to each decide how to spend their money to support their fellow man, women, and children. And when they're donating money to do that, because the budget is balanced, the government will have to decide where to cut and cut and cut and cut, where the private sector is already doing things better. Woo! So the in 1950, health care was 4% of the gross domestic product. It is now 20%. Have we become that much sicker? What's happened in the interim? Doctors used to come to your house and leave. Now, they're terrified of doing anything because of malpractices and all of the other barriers to doctors making a living. If we got back to a rational cost, Health insurance would be far less important. Please see this. Governor Johnson, on trade, would you continue trading with partners who impose tariffs on American goods and on those who engage in, as Donald Trump puts it, currency manipulation? Uh, look, I believe in free trade. There shouldn't be tariffs anywhere, and the United States can lead on this uh, by example. Uh, when you talk about 35% uh, tariff on foreign goods, who ends up paying for that? Well, we do. <laughs> foreign countries want to throw rocks in their harbors. Let them. We should be the, the beacon of liberty and free trade. Even Paul Krugman believes that free trade lifts people out of poverty. One billion lives saved due to free market capitalism as President of the United States, and that's what I'm a champion. So I'm going to the question is, do you continue trading with partners who impose tariffs on American goods and on those who engage in what Donald Trump calls currency manipulation? We can be fair, and if they won't be fair with us, we'll trade with somebody else. I have a big trade that you can't walk around. Oh, you can't go through here. You have to go out and back around or have to walk around the front. No, just walk around in front of them, in front of the camera. Free trade, free trade doesn't need an agreement. Free trade does not need a government approval. If there is a tariff on goods and services, and I'm a private business, and I'm checking around and going, you know what? It still makes sense. I can do it. If not, it's a big world, and everyone is producing something. Mr. Perry, the Federal Reserve currently is currency manipulation. So if I, as president, would you say that nobody can do any trading of goods or services with a country that is involved in currency manipulation, that nobody can do any goods or, or uh, trade with the United States because we currency manipulate. Regarding free trade, I've got it written right here. It says, no government shall interfere with the trade of goods or services. That's all you need for free trade agreements. <laughs> Mr. Peterson, what should be done about the Federal Reserve? Is there a legitimate function for the Fed? It's time to kill the bank. As Andrew Jackson said, you are a dread of vipers, and I will rout you out, and by God, I will rout you out. And the Federal Reserve can be ended not through an act of Congress, but through competition. If we can allow gold, silver, and bitcoins to compete against the Federal Reserve, we will have alternative monetary institutions. We've gone without a central bank in uh, three times in our history. Thomas Jefferson believed that we don't need a central bank. We can have a free market in money because money is not a creation of government. Money is a creation of the marketplace. Allow a free market in money and we will restore prosperity in America once again. And the Fed! Dr. Feldman, it appears the Fed's not very popular in the room. First, and the Fed, and the Fed, 
and the Fed. And then, and the Fed. Mr. Mr. McAfee. We got along without the Fed for 150 years and we were doing quite fine. There is no purpose for the Fed other than to feed money into the pockets of the powerful and a special interest can end as he is getting started. Mr. Perry. Let's repeal the legal tender laws that caused Bernard von Nothaus to go to prison for competition with the Fed, and then we can end the Fed. And I believe that was a felony. Governor Johnson. As President of the United States, if Congress were to submit legislation to me to end the Federal Reserve, I would sign that legislation. But I don't think, I don't think they're going to send that legislation to me. I don't think that that's going to happen. But if they did, I would sign it. I think that those functions could be taken up by regional banks. That said, it is a rigged game. When banks are able to get money at zero percent, they're able to take away our opportunities, for example, from the 2008 financial crisis where we could have stepped in, those of us that saved money, and actually bought houses at a real bargain, but no, we weren't allowed to. The big banks were able to step in and scoop that up for themselves, and now we have this reinflation bubble that has occurred with regard to housing. So it is a rigged game. We need to audit the Federal Reserve. Uh, I think the reason why we haven't had a bill to audit the Federal Reserve is just how frightening it might be to find out how many assets, in fact, they are buying all across the world, and that might cause a collapse of sorts if that were actually known. Dr. Feldman, Dr. Feldman what government cabinet departments would you eliminate? I wouldn't uh, eliminate any one of them. I would let the American people eliminate all of them by replacing them with voluntary private sector programs that are more efficient, more productive, and better for America. Mr. McAfee, what government cabinet position would you eliminate? I think every cabinet position is merely an avenue to spend money unnecessarily that we have sweat hard to provide to the government. All of them, and we'll start from scratch to see what's needed after everything is gone. Mr. Perry, are there any government cabinet positions you would retain? No. The question is, which one would I eliminate first? And, well, you know, let's just go alphabetical. That's the easiest way. <laughs> Governor Johnson. Of course, uh, as President of the United States, it's subject to what Congress submits to you at the end of the day. Uh, count on me to sign off on any legislation that abolishes any federal agency. But those that come to mind, if I were the dictator and could wave a magic wand, would be the Department of Commerce, Housing and Urban Development, Education, I realize this is not a, a, a cabinet agency, but an agency, the uh, Drug Enforcement Administration, NSA. NSA is, a, um, is an executive order, 12333s, uh, signed under Truman. Turn the satellites away from us, please. Turn them on the enemies, well, ostensibly, we are, it's been turned on the enemies, us, and this is the government, this is... This is tyranny. 